Well, they were over San Antonio and drew thousands of people during the pandemic. We're talking about the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds. They are coming back to San Antonio this week, but this time it's not just a flyover. It's part of the great Texas air show. And while they will not be doing a flyover of the city like they did back in 2020, there is a lot to be excited about. Max Massey joins us live on this beautiful Monday. Max, what should we expect out there? Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. Do you expect excitement, exhilaration? It's going to be an amazing show. Joined here with Major Robin. So, Major, you told me people should expect loud noises, but it is so much more than that. Yeah, absolutely. It's a uh, celebration of our heritage. Uh, we're celebrating the Air Force's 75th anniversary, as well as Air Education and Training Command's 80th anniversary. Uh, so we're bringing kind of everybody together to make these two huge events. Uh, so we got a lot coming in. Uh, we got Thunderbirds, obviously, our headliner. We have the uh, F-35 demonstration team. We have the MV-22 uh, from the uh, USMC. So we got a good amount of uh, aircraft that actually performing about four and a half hours worth of flying. And a ton of static aircraft from all of our branches. Uh, of course, uh, Air Force, obviously, being the headliner. Uh, Navy, uh, Marine Corps, Army, uh, static, air, uh, static tanks, and a couple of helicopters that will be out on the ramp. We do have our STEM program as well. So uh, we're going to have a lot of uh, exhibits there for uh, all the kids come out and see and everyone to enjoy and a lot of technology out on display. Uh, we have a B-29 Super Fortress that would be on a ramp. That's one of only uh, two remaining in the world that are still flying. So we definitely have one out there. And that's going to be a, a great experience for everyone to see that bit of uh, heritage as, as that's what we're celebrating for this being the 70th anniversary and 80th grade. This is so exciting. You also kind of alluded, I know you didn't want to give away the entire show, but pyrotechnics, a lot of showmanship, if you will. Absolutely, yeah. We got a few surprises out there for everyone, so we're encouraging everyone to get out there early. Uh, the gates will open uh, roughly at 9 o'clock. We have three entrances for them. You want to get out there uh, pretty early so you can experience the full show. Uh, it'll end about uh, 16.30 uh, with the Thunderbirds finishing off the uh, performance out there. Uh, yeah, we, we don't want to give it all away. But we have uh, some jumpers, some explosions, uh, and, and a lot of noise. In terms of people actually going and going to attend, you know, it is free, open to the community. What should people know before they get there? Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. So one of the big things, uh, of course, we're still coming out of COVID, but uh, DOD policy uh, still dictates that as people ride a plus, uh, a DOD-owned asset that will be used to transport people from the parking areas to the static area and then the show line itself. We need people to wear masks. So they'll be asked to wear a mask during that time. There is a walking path, but it's about a mile, so it's a little bit longer. So that's what we need to really kind of Make sure they have that mask with them so they can put that on to ride the buses. Uh, make it a lot more uh, enjoyable, a lot faster to get to the area itself. There's three entrances that we're going to have also. So the main one's going to be on uh, FM 78, and that would be on the eastern side of the, the airfield itself. Then we have one on 1518 that will allow people in. And the south gate on the uh, lower skiing road will allow access to our general parking areas. All right, Major Robinson, thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you for your service. We know there's a lot of people out there who may have some questions still, so we're going to have a lot more coming up on the news at noon and, of course, ksat.com. Guys, back to you. All right, Max, thank you very much. And again, they said it wraps up 1630. That is 430 p.m. civilian time. Thank you, Max. You're